So one of the first things you guys need to do is get a handle on the controls. Now every unit, every maker has a slightly different type of controller or, or potentially has a slightly different type of controller. But generally speaking, they all follow uh, these default uh, controls. So we have a left stick and a right stick. Um, this is going to be a throttle up, so go high, go down, uh, yaw left, yaw right, and then pitch up or pitch down, and to either roll right or left. Um, and so the way we're, you guys are going to start with this is with our, our one of our trainers or simulators. So the first thing to note is we have um, we have a number here and a number, and so these guys are going to match. Now there's batteries inside here in the back right there, and so um, you want to make sure that those are charged. One of the problems might be you might get a unit and it um, that doesn't seem to be working, and it's because the batteries are dead. So this guy right now is looking orange. If he's super kick butt, he should be green. If it gets red, it, we should swap batteries. Um, <clears throat> this guy's just plugged into USB. Now the cool, the reason why we use this particular model of controller is if we unplug uh, that jack out the back, this actually will function as a regular uh, controller to control um, actual units out in the field. We typically don't use this for that, but um, this will actually work. Other controllers um, are a little uh, more uh, sort of uh, you know gamified. But this is actually a real controller. Okay, so this is so we're gonna use our flight simulator here. So Amy's, <laughs> Jesus, Emily, I must be tired. Emily's gonna um, get on here. So the first thing you're gonna come up, you're gonna come up and you're gonna select. Let's see if we can get this focus. You're gonna select training mode. So we're gonna start off training, and now this is gonna take us through a series of different um, uh, exercises. And if you totally crash it, no no problem. You're gonna go back and retry. Um, until you've mastered that skill. Once you've mastered all of these skills, all these squares will be filled in. That should vary, but about an hour or so worth of work. Now, you don't have to do them all simultaneously. You'll log in, uh, set up your account, make, put your name in, and then you'll, you'll go for it. And so, now we're gonna pick um, the specific unit that we're gonna use. So yeah, so so you can so you you, you can say who you are and do all that and, and type oh, type your name and so you can create your own pilot uh, mm -hmm. name etc. And then when we go to do this, is it same and then training? Like yep, and then click that. that. Let's see what that did. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now um, now again, this is great training if you guys want to practice with fixed wings, what have you. We're gonna pick the Phantom. So we're gonna go to this guy. So the DJI Phantom is what will be our default training program. And you say okay, and you're gonna uh, say okay, and you'll proceed to go through the controls. It's gonna, it's gonna show you, uh, tell you which, which stick to move, etc. Now, the, the, um, one of the hallmarks of the DJI products um, are to, to activate them, we pull both sticks down into the middle. So that's the one thing you'll need to know. You gotta pull these guys down into the middle. And there you go. So um, take turns. I'd like everybody to go for 10 minute rotations. And then we can take turns. Just recall that if you create an account on, say, uh, unit two, you're going to have to come back there. The, these guys aren't networked. So there you go. Uh, get going on our training, our drone simulator training software.